Shorten, a search engine that is specifically designed for hackers and cybersecurity analysts to discover whatever open ports are there on the internet. In this video, we are going to be searching for webcams, satellites, any kind of camera which is open and open devices and even voting machines. So anything that is there open on the internet will be shown by Shorten. Let's get started. So first to just explain what Shorten is and how it works. So here, as you can see, we have got Tom and he has got three devices in his house, which is a webcam, a computer and a Wi-Fi network. And these are all forgotten devices, which means that Tom has absolutely forgotten. He purchased them, but they are still active in his home and they use very old technology, which is very vulnerable to the latest systems. And it is just open on the internet without any passwords. And you won't believe that there are tons of devices like this that don't have any password and they are just there on the internet, right? And it's not actually illegal if you just go on these webcams and you can see anything it is publicly available information if you know what google dorking is it is basically refining your search into what you exactly want and google docking can also give you a lot of information on your target shorten works the exact same way but it is a better device a more powerful device which can get you much more stuff so as hackers what we do we try to get all the information that is open on the internet which is not legal i repeat again and you can just take that information you can play around with it and nobody is going to mind it so here as you can see we have got a github page written by someone named jake jarvis all right so he has written these awesome shorten queries i'll leave a link down in the description below so first let's see what shorten actually is so once you open shorten you will be told to log in so if you have a google account or you can say a facebook account you can log in from there or email an email and here you can see we have got a uh, filters cheat codes so we have got city country http title net or all these all these things right so this is a shorten official page for filter references right so you can use all these to get filter references so if you want computers that are open on the internet that have the ssh port open so you can just type ssh dot type and it will give you all those computers which are open right then if you want anything related to bitcoins or cryptocurrency you can just type bitcoin.ip and it will give all the bitcoin miners or mining servers or ips that are open on the internet right so here you can see we have got a search box let's just type webcam right so it's that simple you just type webcam and uh, it will give you a ton of results on whatever webcams are open so as you can see this is from the uae and all these webcams are just open on the internet right so if you just open them on a new tab it will show the ip and it will show that the webcam is actually open for the public to view right so yes this is a webcam so oh i can also change the source right so th these are two webcams that i can uh, see and it's live view as you can see the, the timer uh, or you can say the time is still going on right here so it's 5 11 2024 and it's 11 36 in the evening this looks like a jungle or something so all of these are open ips and there are tons of them and you can just play around with them right uh, you can specify the country that you want browse images view on them maps so there are 1500 of such in usa 971 in china then if you want a specific port then organizations yes and you can also specify organization so let's say i uh, want to get some information on a university website that i am uh, having for a bug bounty program so let's say uh, the the Washington University has created a bug bounty program on their website and I want as much information as I can from them. So all I have to do, I have to go on the webcam, type organization and yes, Washington University. Press enter and it will give all the open IPs on the Washington University. As you can see, Western Washington University. So uh, all of these might be open, might be closed, but the this will give you all the IPs and everything that you require. And you can use as many search parameters as you can uh, to use this. And if you also are more comfortable with the command line version, you can use the shorten API. Uh, it's free for uh, some extent, but after a while you have to pay a, a small fee to use the CLI version of it and also to get better results. So this video is just for education purposes and I'm going to show you how awesome this tool is and what all you can do with it. So if you want a video on Shorten on how you can use it on bug bounty platforms and how you can actually effectively gather information that you can use in a bug bounty platform, uh, you can just leave it down in the comments below and I'll make that video for you. Then here, as you can see, we have got gas station pump controllers, automatic license plates, readers, traffic light controllers, a voting machine in the United States. So let's try this. All right. So let's just copy this 
this command and I'm going to paste it here. So it might be open, it might be closed, but everything that is there on that IP on voter system serial in the United States will show it to me. Right, so voter system serial, remote console, uh, console access, as you can see, it might require a login, but of course it'll require a login, but still very amazing if you can get an IP of such a high profile thing. Then if we go back to the GitHub page, we can see that we have got telcos running, uh, wiretaps, prison pay phones. So tons of stuff, you know, uh, Tesla power pack charging status. So it's very alarming that all of these devices are just there on the internet, just kept there without anyone noticing and anyone in the entire world can use them. So that's why cybersecurity has become such a big threat these days because all of these devices are just open there for anyone to use. So you can go through this. There are lots of interesting stuff, maritime satellites. Uh, so let's just copy this. So we are getting maritime satellites. So basically whatever satellites are connected to boats, right? So there are uh, satellites which have uh, their remote connection onto boards, right? So we have got an invalid search query. Let's see what's invalid about it. So we can just remove this, press enter, and let's see what Shorten gives us, right? So we have got by Cohom Satcom, Isotropic Networks. Then, uh, you know, it will be much better if I just did Sailor VSAT because VSAT is mostly used for satellites but still you know we have got two top results for if you're looking for satellites you know that's still a big deal so if i just open this in a new page let me just open that as well so as you can see it is a, a ton of fun on if you are just working with shorten like that so yes we have got a, a page open for this sailor 800 vsat yes right here so <laughs> as you can see we have got uh the vessel is heading 142.8 degrees I don't know what that actually means, but we are getting the exact location where the vessel is heading, the satellite profile. And so you cannot actually change this. That will be a very, very big vulnerability, but you can see this. That's also a very big vulnerability, right? So we have got a refresh. We have got the model. It is how, where it is pointing and, you know, the signal level, everything basically administration, service settings. So you can just tweak around. With the settings, <laughs> email settings, navigation, let's see what the navigation is. Right, so this is basically a vessel that is going on somewhere in the ocean. It is connected to some of the satellites. So, you know, it's an RXTX is basically receiving and transmitting. So it is amazing on what this tool can accomplish. And if you want to experiment more with it, uh, I will leave the GitHub page link down in the description below. So we have got a ton of cool stuff that you can do. So if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button down there. And if you are into cybersecurity, ethical hacking, bug bounty, be sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.